What a rowdy group everybody is today. It's like you, you all haven't seen each other for a really long time or something like that. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. My name is Ryan Parcell. I'm the Chief Public Information Officer for El Paso County, and it's my pleasure to to conduct today's swearing in events. You, you don't have to wear a mask while you're speaking. I almost forgot about that. Um, and, and thank you especially for um, for participating under the, the protocols that we have to, to hold this meeting under today. Um, you know, two years ago we had a, a swearing in ceremony in, in this same chamber. And, 2019 seems like an eternity ago, and a lot's changed uh, since then. Who would have thought that words like, you know, quarantine or social distancing or remote working or quarantini or any of these things would have entered into our vocabulary since since that time? But the uh, with all the changes and the challenges that we faced as a country and a, a region since that time, one thing that has persevered uninterrupted is our democracy. And I think that above all else today is a celebration of our, our constitutional democratic republic and the peaceful transfer of power. Um, which of course, you can't celebrate our, our system of government without acknowledging the, the citizens who bestow that remarkable responsibility onto elected officials. Uh, the, the people who fairly and accurately counted each and every vote, and the men and women in every kind of uniform that protect our freedoms. And so whether you're a citizen who voted in the election, um, whether, whether you're somebody who participated in the, uh, in the count, uh, you're somebody who served in uniform, or you're somebody who's loved and supported a person who served in uniform. Thank you for everything that you've done to make our region strong, to participate in our democracy, and for supporting the people that, that put their name out there to, to hold elected office. For two of our guests today, this ceremony represents a continuation of their service. And for two other people, today marks a new chapter where they begin the, the role of making public policy and enforcing the law. But one thing that unites them all is their dedication to our community and their commitment to make it safer, stronger, and better. So thank you for those who have decided to, to run for office today, and thank you for allowing us to, um, to recognize you with this ceremony today. When it comes to our country, despite all, all the voices that are out there, there really is so much more that unites us than divides us. And uh, as, as we go through the next little bit of this program, I'd ask you to think about that. We're gonna have the colors of our country presented by the Sheriff's Office, and then friend of the county and radio host for 92.9 FM, Bobby Adon, are, is going to sing the national anthem. So I'll turn it over to the, uh, to the color guard. Present arms. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star 
star-spangled banner wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Wow, thank you. Uh, I wrote in my script that he did a good job, but I think he really did do a really great job. Um, next, uh, the, the Pledge of Allegiance was originally printed in 1892 and was adopted by Congress in 1942. Please join our, our special guests who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Kian and Calum Geithner, children of incoming Commissioner <laughs> Kerry Geithner. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, members of the El Paso County Sheriff's Office for presenting our colors today. Thank you for standing up to this point. We got just a little bit longer. I want to introduce Mr. Henry Allen, a former Sheriff's Office deputy uh, and former president of the Colorado Springs branch of the NAACP. He is the current president of the Pikes Peak Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and he will be delivering our invocation, Mr. Allen. Good morning. Good morning. You know, when I was asked to do this, I asked God to give me <clears throat> what his thoughts was what he, to share with you this morning. Because I do believe when God speaks, he sends his message to his children. So I want to say, first of all, God bless America. Yes. God bless America. One nation under God, God people. We are born and united under God. And let's not forget that. Despite it all, despite all the trauma, God is large and in charge. So if you would go with me in prayer. God wanted me to share these words with you this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have planned for these elected officials that are for the good of the community. They have been elected to serve for your glory. We pray that you would put new opportunities before them and open their eyes so they may see these opportunities. Help them to use their time and talent to serve you in the position and job you have prepared for them. We also pay, pray especially for the wives, husbands, and children of these leaders. We ask that you draw near to them and give them the wisdom on how to best support one another while their loved one is away serving. And Father God, our nation is also in need of prayer for leaders with disconcerning hearts and wise minds. We, have, we are asking you to give us wise leaders that will lead this nation in the right direction. We are praying that you remove wrong people that are corrupt and living against your word from influential positions. Amen. Heavenly Father, let our leaders be people who honor your holy name, for it's only from you that they will get their true wisdom. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Let the majesty of the Father be the light that guide them. Let the compassion of the Son be the love that inspired them. And allow the presence 
of the Holy Spirit to be the power that empowered them. All this we ask through your holy and blessed name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Feel free to take a seat. We have a lot of distinguished guests with us today uh, that I'd like to recognize. And um, uh, of course, with a crowd this large, um, I'll invariably forget somebody. And so I'll apologize for that ahead of time. But from the city of Colorado Springs, I want to recognize Mayor John Southers. Thank you for being here today. From the state legislature, I'd like to recognize House District 14 Representative Sane Chanbridge. And <laughs> sorry. I cut on you, I cut your applause line. I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, and then from House District 19, Representative Tim Geithner. <laughs> from Colorado Springs City Council and former Secretary of State Wayne Williams, thank you for being here today. Our clerk and recorder, who's uh, truly lifted a heavy load over the last few months, cl uh, clerk and recorder Chuck Broerman. And then, of course, there's our sheriff, Bill Elder. Also in attendance, we have uh, all of our Board of County Commissioners, Holly Williams, Cammie Bremer, um, soon to be Carrie Geithner, um, uh, Stan Vanderwerf, and uh, Lohinos Gonzalez. Um, and uh, by way of former elected official, want to recognize District Attorney Dan May. Thank you for your service, sir. And also from the city of Colorado Springs, want to recognize Chief of Staff Jeff Green. Thank you for being here as well. But uh, out, of, out of all the guests, I'd like to take a moment to talk about uh, somebody who will be an important part of our program, Chief Judge William Bain from the 4th Judicial District. Thank you for being here today. It's rare to find somebody who's actually from Colorado. Uh, Judge Will Bain is not only from Colorado, but he's a fifth generation Coloradan who's lived in Colorado Springs since 1997. He's a graduate from Middlebury College and uh, Cornell Law School. He practiced law in Denver, served as a deputy district attorney here in the 4th Judicial District, and as a civil litigator for the city of Colorado Springs before he's appointed to the bench by Governor Bill Ritter. He subsequently appointed as chief district judge in 2017. So Judge Bain, will you come down here for a moment? He's going to administer the oath of office to our officiants today, uh, but i also like to recognize him for any remarks he'd like to make before he gets started. Thank you, Ryan. I don't get over to this building too much, so I thought I'd take the opportunity just to say a few quick things. First of all, for those of you who think I'm uh, prone to sh arriving late to various events, I'm really not. I showed up at 8.05 because I had to swear in eight uh, judges over at the courthouse so they could get going with their new terms uh, today. So that's why I was just a couple of minutes late. I certainly am, it's, I'm honored and privileged to be here and I really look forward to swearing everybody in. I also wanna just say a big thank you to all of the county officials and county staff who have helped the courthouse stay as open as we possibly can over the last year, uh, in particular, Diana May and Dr. Kelly, uh, Amy Folsom, the Board of County Commissioners, thank you, Dan May and the Sheriff, uh, Dr. Kelly and Brian Olson. I can't say thank you enough to... For We are the third branch of government, uh, but we need the first and the second to operate. So I thank all the other branches as well. Uh, last thing I'll say is just a sobering statistic to keep in mind because uh, I like to keep uh, the Board of County Commissioners and the community informed of the court situation. We'll be opening back up for jury trials toward the end of February. At that time, we'll have, at least as of yesterday, 3,133 jury trials to adjudicate. The next largest district in the state, setting aside 
Denver, so don't consider Denver the next biggest district, which is Arapahoe County, Aurora, Douglas County, Elbert, and one other. They're at 1,800 trials or 1,900 trials. So we have 1,400 more trials than uh, the next biggest jurisdiction. Denver is its own animal because they have four different courts. Uh, their, their district court there has 1,300 jury trials scheduled as of today, and the fourth has 1,600. Uh, so this is by far the busiest jurisdiction in the state of Colorado, and that's why I'm so appreciative of all the help of the county officials and the county staff. So thank you for giving me a minute. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Judge Bain. Um, the first person that will receive the oath of office today is Michael Allen. Uh, Mr. Allen was elected as the 4th Judicial District Attorney in November of 2020. The 4th Judicial District spans all of El Paso and Teller counties. And the mission of the office is to administer justice, advocate for victims, and partner with law enforcement and citizens of this community to deter and prevent crime. Mr. Allen is a veteran of the U.S. Navy and has served as a prosecutor since 2000. And four. Mr. Allen will take the oath of office on his family Bible. And Mr. Allen, if you and your family will come forward here and receive the oath of office. Okay. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. <laughs> I state your name. I'm Michael Allen. Do you swear by the ever-living God? Do you swear by the ever-living God that I will support the Constitution of the United States? That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Colorado? The Constitution of the State of Colorado. And the laws of the State of Colorado? And the laws of the State of Colorado. And will faithfully perform the duties? And will faithfully perform the duties of the Office of District Attorney? Of the Office of District Attorney. For the Fourth Judicial District? For the Fourth Judicial District. Upon which I am about to enter? Upon which I am about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best, best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Allen. Thank you. Today, the Board of County Commissioners will gain a new face. Carrie Geithner was elected to represent County Commissioner District 2, my district for what it's worth, uh, which includes neighborhoods like Cimarron Hills, Stetson Hills, the Powers Corridor, and areas outside of the city of Colorado Springs like Falcon, Calhan, and large portions of unincorporated El Paso County. Prior to her election, Carrie spent several years in private and nonprofit efforts, including support from military families. And uh, fun fact, El Paso County has always been comfortable with, uh, uh, with strong female leadership. But today will mark the first day that not only is there a majority women on the Board of County Commissioners, but they'll also be joined by um, Amy Folsom as our County Administrator and Diana May as our County Attorney. So with that, They don't even need the rest of it. Please come forward. <laughs> I state your name. I, Carrie Geithner. Do you swear by the ever-living God? Do you swear by the ever-living God? That I will support the Constitution of the United States? That I will support the Constitution of the United States? The Constitution of the State of Colorado? The Constitution of the State of Colorado? And the laws of the State of Colorado? And the laws of the State of Colorado? And will faithfully perform the duties? And will faithfully perform the duties? Of the Office of County Commissioner? Of the Office of County Commissioner? For El Paso County, State of Colorado? For El Paso County, State of Colorado. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Young men look so sharp in their suits. 
Commissioner Stan Vanderwerf was re-elected by voters to represent County Commissioner District 3 this last year. District 3 covers all of Western El Paso County, on the north side, Douglas County, and all the way down to Pueblo County. It includes areas of Colorado Springs like Rock Rim and Mountain Shadows and the Broadmoor, Cheyenne Mountain. It also includes the city of Mantu Springs, Cascade, Green Mountain Falls, and America's most iconic peak, Pikes Peak. Prior to his election, Commissioner Vanderwerf served 28 years in the United States Air Force and owned two small businesses. Commissioner Vanderwerf, I'd like to invite you and your family to come up and receive the oath of office. I state your name. I, Stan Vanderwerf. Do swear by the ever-living God. Do swear by the ever-living God. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Colorado. The Constitution of the State of Colorado. And the laws of the State of Colorado. And the laws of the State of Colorado. And will faithfully perform the duties. And will faithfully perform the duties. Of the Office of County Commissioner. Of the Office of County Commissioner. For El Paso County. County, State of Colorado. For El Paso County, State of Colorado. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you. Last but not least, Lojinas Gonzalez Jr. was re-elected by voters to represent El Paso County Commissioner District 4. District 4 covers Southeast Colorado Springs, the airport, along with Security Widefield, the City of Fountain, Hanover, Ellicott, Rush, Yoder, and then Fort Carson. Uh, oh, and don't forget the Pikes Peak International Raceway uh, and large portions of unincorporated El Paso County. Prior to his election, Commissioner Gonzalez served 20 years in the United States Air Force and has also been a teacher in Harrison School District 2. So though he knows, I'd like to invite you to come on down and receive the oath of office with any guests you may have today. Uh, my sisters weren't able to attend, so I have one of my dear friends, Kay, uh, holding the Bible for me. <laughs> I state your name. I am Lojinos Gonzalez, Jr. Do swear by the ever-living God. Do swear by the ever-living God. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Colorado. The Constitution of the State of Colorado. And the laws of the State of Colorado. And the laws of the State of Colorado. And will faithfully perform the duties. And will faithfully perform the duties. Of the Office of County Commissioner. The Office of County Commissioner. For El Paso County, State of Colorado. For El Paso County, State of Colorado. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon, uh, upon which I am about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Folks, not only are we good uh, uh, saving your money, but we're also good at saving your time. We're going to conclude about 15 minutes early. Um, I wanted to thank you all for being here today. If you'd like to stay, uh, you can see Commissioner Geithner and her, her fellow commissioners in action at 9 o'clock at our first BOCC meeting of the new year. And later today, uh, Mr. Allen will be swearing in all of the staff for the, the district attorney's office, and you're invited to join us uh, for that as well. Thank you for being here today and God bless.